Ever found yourself postponing tasks until the last minute? If so, you're in the clutches of the insidious habit known as procrastination. This is no ordinary habit, it's a sly trap that lures you into believing there's always time, until there's not. It's the silent killer of potential, turning days into a blur of missed chances and unrealized dreams. It's not simply about being inefficient in managing time, but it's a much deeper issue. It's about the dreams you let slip away, the goals unachieved, the opportunities unseized and the life unlived. It's about the music that never leaves the confines of your mind because you're too busy saying, not yet, there's still time. This is the harsh reality of the procrastination trap, a habit that delays progress and breeds mediocrity. It's not just about poor time management, but about losing opportunities and fostering stagnation. Let's explore this habit further. Imagine a diligent student at the dawn of a new semester. This student, like many others, reserves the early days of a term paper deadline for fun and relaxation, indulging in various leisure activities. They devote time to parties, watching movies and hanging out with friends, all while their impending assignment rests in the back of mind. As the deadline begins to loom ever closer, a sense of panic sets in. The once calm and collected student now enters a state of frenzy. They scramble to finish their paper, rushing through research and writing without a proper plan. The quality of their work suffers, they ignore other pressing tasks, and the constant stress starts to take a toll on their mental health. This vicious cycle continues with every wasted minute becoming a minute they'll never regain. Every wasted minute is a minute unrecoverable. Next we delve into the pitfall of negativity, a common companion of procrastination. This negativity, often unnoticed, lurks in the shadows of our minds, impacting our outlook on both personal and professional fronts. Its influence is powerful, yet insidious, infecting our perception like a parasite. It gnaws at our self-belief, chipping away at our motivation and determination until we're left feeling inadequate and overwhelmed. It's a bitter companion, for it fosters doubt, fear and apprehension, transforming dreams into daunting tasks. This negativity, stemming from procrastination, gives birth to a high level of stress. The stress in turn, strengthens the negativity, thus escalating this vicious cycle. In this relentless loop, the stress feeds the negativity, which then encourages further procrastination. It's a destructive cycle. Procrastination breeds stress, which fuels negativity, leading to further procrastination. Fear of failure is another obstacle. This fear, this intangible yet powerful force, often triggers procrastination in many of us. It sneaks up on us, often without warning, and subtly disrupts our ability to progress. It's not the task itself that is intimidating, no, that's rarely the case, the task itself is innocent, often straightforward, and sometimes even pleasurable. However, our minds are complex, and what they fear is not the simplicity or complexity of the task but the potential outcome. They fear the possibility of unsatisfactory completion or the severe consequences that come with failure. This fear can paralyze us, freezing our ability to act and stunts our growth. The key is not to eliminate fear, that is an impossible task. The key is to understand this fear, to recognize its patterns and its triggers. Understanding this fear is key to overcoming it. Another destructive habit is blaming others. This is a pattern etched deeply in our human nature. It seems to be an inbuilt mechanism that triggers every time we fall short, make mistakes, or fail in our endeavors. Instead of facing the truth of our shortcomings, it's easier to point fingers and pin the blame on others. This is an effortless escape route eliminating the stress of self-examination and the discomfort of acknowledging our flaws. But the danger is, it hinders personal growth, it prevents us from taking ownership of our actions. It's only when we break this cycle and step up to accept responsibility that we truly begin to grow. Accepting responsibility enables us to control our actions and aim for improvement. Complacency is a comfort zone that barricades us from potential growth and success. It's a tranquil sanctuary, a deceptive haven that lures us into a state of inertia. Within its inviting walls we find an illusion of security, an unchallenged existence where every day appears the same, safe, and familiar. It's a realm that cradles us into a slumber, a sleep that is indifferent to the pulsating world of possibilities beyond its confines. It's an enticing space where change is feared and uncertainty is a foe. We find solace in the predictable, relishing the safety of routine, the comfort of the known, steering clear of risks. Within this fortress, we quietly surrender our dreams, our desires to the mighty power of comfort. It's a realm where complacency becomes an unspoken norm, a subtle acceptance of the idea that growth and change are unnecessary. 
we find ourselves contented with the status quo, ignoring the fact that life thrives on evolution and progress. Self-doubt is a habit that can be replaced with confidence and resilience. It's a self-perpetuating cycle that continuously undermines our self-worth, constantly raising questions about our capabilities, talents, and worthiness. It takes the form of a relentless internal monologue, the voice in our head incessantly whispering that we aren't good enough, that we'll never be good enough. This habit, often ingrained from childhood, can be deeply damaging. It hampers our progress by creating roadblocks in our path to success. It subtly infiltrates our thoughts, planting seeds of hesitation, fear, and uncertainty. It keeps us stuck in our comfort zone, hindering our growth and personal evolution. It prevents us from taking risks and seizing opportunities that could lead to our advancement. We remain trapped, stagnant, unable to fully blossom or express our unique abilities and talents to the world. But by recognizing and addressing this habit, we can start to dismantle it, replacing it with a robust sense of self-assuredness. We can train ourselves to silence the critic within, cultivate resilience, and arm ourselves with self-belief. This is not an overnight transformation but a lifelong journey of self-discovery and growth. It questions our abilities and holds us back from realizing our full potential. Next, we encounter perfectionism, a term many regard with awe and admiration. It represents the relentless pursuit of flawlessness, a tireless chase that often becomes an obsession, nourishing the illusion of achieving the absolute best in everything. It is an idealistic mirage that lures us into thinking that perfection is the ultimate goal. Yet we need to understand that this unforgiving journey can inadvertently become a barrier, an obstacle that hinders our forward momentum. It can potentially tie us down, preventing us from moving ahead and achieving our true potential. Therefore, it is important to realize that the essence of personal growth and success lies not in perfection, but in progress. The habit of not setting goals is akin to a compass, providing us a clear path towards our desires. Just as a sailor navigates the wild, unpredictable seas guided by their trusty compass, so too should we as individuals navigate the unpredictable journey of our lives with the aid of our goals. These goals act as an anchor to our dreams, rendering them achievable, tangible, and well within our reach. Visualize a world where everyone is wandering aimlessly, without any sense of direction, any sense of purpose. This world would be a chaos of uncertainty. But by setting goals, we create a framework, a roadmap if you will, that leads us towards our desires. Be it personal or professional, goals provide structure and direction to our actions. They act as the beacon guiding us through the dark forest of uncertainty, where the wild creatures of doubt, procrastination and fear lurk. They help us transform our deepest desires into achievable objectives, our dreams into reality. Without goals, we can easily lose our way, swaying with the wind like a dandy lift lost in the sea of uncertainty. We risk being adrift, exposed to life's erratic currents. Another habit that hinders our growth is not learning from mistakes. This is a prevalent practice that sometimes unwittingly becomes a part of our daily lives. We tend to shy away from addressing our errors, often due to the fear of failure or ridicule. It's important to realize that mistakes are not detrimental but rather inevitable aspects of our journey. They should not be regarded as setbacks or failures. Moreover, they are invaluable resources that can provide deep insights if we choose to learn from them. Indeed, mistakes are stepping stones that can guide us towards our desired success. They're lessons in disguise. The lack of care for our health is a stealthy impediment that gradually hampers our progress. It's like a silent invader, slowly creeping in, undermining our strength, and diminishing our vitality. This is a critical issue that's often overlooked due to the hustle and bustle of our modern lives. Many people become so engrossed in their daily routines, they forget to prioritize their health without realizing that it is the greatest wealth they possess. The four pillars of health, namely regular exercise, a balanced diet, ample sleep and mental relaxation, are not just mere words. They are the indispensable tools that foster our well-being. Regular exercise, can be as simple as a brisk walk or as intense as a high-powered gym session. It enhances our physical fitness, wards off illnesses, and boosts our mood. A balanced diet, on the other hand, ensures our body receives the necessary nutrients to function optimally. It's not about restriction but making wiser choices that feed the body and soul. Ample sleep is another vital component of good health. It's during sleep that our body rejuvenates, repairs, and prepares for another day. Lastly, mental relaxation is as crucial as physical wellness. 
Activities like yoga, meditation, or even a simple stroll in the park can do wonders to alleviate stress and promote mental peace. These four pillars of health are the key to a productive and fulfilling life. Neglecting them can lead to a gradual decline in our overall health, and hence our progress. Regular exercise, a balanced diet, ample sleep, and mental relaxation are the pillars of health. The reluctance to seek help is a habit that can subtly sabotage our progress. It's a habit born from a culture of self-reliance, a belief that personal strength is synonymous with stoic independence. But such a notion is misguided. We grow up with the idea that asking for assistance is somehow an admission of defeat a sign of deficiency. But this could not be further from the truth. In reality, seeking help is a testament to our strength and resilience, a testament to our ability to understand our limitations and turn them into opportunities for growth. It's about acknowledging that we are not alone in our journey, that there are others who can offer us the wisdom and resources that we may lack. They can guide us, inspire us, and lead us towards our goals. The process of seeking help is, in essence, a process of personal growth. It allows us to learn, to evolve, to become better versions of ourselves. The solution is to recognize that seeking help is not a weakness, but a strength. Fear of change is a habit that is deeply ingrained in many of us, providing a seemingly safe blanket of comfort and familiarity. It's a common human tendency to resist what's different, to stay within the secure confines of what we already know. However, this habit, this fear of the new, the different, the uncertain, often acts as a barrier a roadblock, preventing us from moving forward, from exploring possibilities, from embracing transformation. Change, whether we like it or not, is an inevitable part of life. It's a crucial element of evolution, of progress, of growth. Embracing this reality, acknowledging the inevitability of change and preparing ourselves to adapt, to evolve, to grow with it, is not just important but vital for both personal and professional growth. Acceptance that change is inevitable and readiness to adapt is vital for growth. Recall every journey begins with a single step, so take that first stride towards your goals today. This is the day you start to make your dreams come true, because you're worth it. You're worth the effort, the challenges, and the triumphs that come along the way. Believe in yourself, as we do. Never forget that every great accomplishment starts with a decision to try. We are so grateful that you're here watching this video. We hope that it has provided you with some inspiration, some motivation, and perhaps even a new perspective. If you found this content helpful, we ask that you kindly give it a thumbs up. This simple action helps us to reach more people, just like you, who are ready to start their journey. It would also be fantastic if you could share this video with your friends. Maybe they're also looking for a push in the right direction. Maybe this video could be the spark that ignites their journey. Reach out, share the inspiration and let's grow together. Remember, your journey starts today. We're here to provide guidance, support, and encouragement every step of the way. Every single stride you make is a step towards a brighter future. So, let's embark on this journey together, because we're here to help you every step of the way.